26. from here to here, 31.25, and uh, I'm going to file down the roughness without hopefully not <laughs> When I first drew this out, I made a mistake. There was another section here. Okay, so 7 eighths is from there to there, and that's 5 6 5, and that's 380, 1 0 0 5, that's 5 16 1 8 uh, 2 and 5 sixteenths or uh, yeah and uh, 3 and 3 sixteenths and there's a grub screw seat here this is what's actually going to power this once it's between centers there's going to be a makeshift lathe dog over here on this section with a grub screw over here okay so the reason why my measurements weren't working out is because they've changed
since this wasn't machined bef between centers, I had to rely on this chuck to be bang on with this portion of it. So I would have the same axis running through those pieces and have a is it concentricity. And uh, I'm off by two thou from here to here. That's how much my chuck is off. Two thou. So now I got to put threads at the end of this thing here. Uh, five sixteenths, uh, 40 treads per inch. And yep, good luck with that one. I know it. Well, that's the problem I got to go through just to, just to make treads. On my lead, this is just forward reverse. So I'm going to spin it by hand. So I've got it at a at a pretty high RPM. I think I've had it. I've got it at 320, and I'm I'm spinning it by hand. Those are the threads, 40 threads per inch. I don't know why they want such small threads, but I'm doing it by hand. I can't really get you a good shot now, can I? Let me focus out a bit. So anyways, I'm going to spin her until she's at the end Okay, and back up from my three o'clock position, and unfortunately, I have to spin it out again. I could use the feed to spin it out, though. I made myself a dial, but. I gotta put a an indicator if I miss my shot on that. Like I've gotta test it out and get some kind of. I'm talking about uh, about this. I made myself. I printed a dial. And I've got it stuck to the guard there with magnets. And I have one, two, three, four positions. And I need an arrow to make sure I'm on I'm on the button. I can see I've lined it up with a thread, but if it's off like this or like this, I'm not gonna get a good reading. So now It's kind of difficult, or you always have to be conscious of the viewer when you're doing stuff because you could go a lot faster if you didn't have to think about what you want the viewer to see or learn from what you're doing. It, it, it makes it for time consuming a bit. And this is metric, and I don't want metric. I want 40 treads per inch. Got a gauge here. 42. 40 treads per inch right there. Oh, 
Oh, I might be close. I should be right on, but... I'm right on. All right. I got the gears right this time. Hi, uh, this new piece I got to make for the Eureka tool is um, what goes on top of the mandrel. Th this tool will be turning. What you see in checkered or in, in slashes, that tool will be turning around the mandrel I just cut previously. Okay, this is a side view. You can tell there are a number of ratchets around here. Okay, the ratchets are at 60 degrees to the right all the way going around because that's the revolving uh, pattern that's going to be there when it's actually clicking and, and, and with every revolution of the mandrel. Okay, at the end here, you see a measurement of three quarters of an inch from here to here. You got to cut slots or a width on that diameter for a wrench of three quarters of an inch to actually get on there so you can have something to lock up this spinning, uh, I don't know what to call it, sleeve, indexing sleeve, okay? And you have to have something to hold it so you can screw and unscrew. Uh, the gear goes over here, and there are threads at the end of this here. Okay, that's where your wrench would be. You hold the, the, the indexing wheel, and you can tighten and loosen up your, your nut for your gear that will be here in between this uh, surface and the nut okay um, okay and the width of this here should be the width of the wrench you're going to be using to hold the indexing sleeve okay the depth of these ratchets are 330 seconds okay the full length of this indexing sleeve is uh, 1.562 and from where the gear would be sitting up against or the cutter up to this surface here, the point of reference here, and all the measurements are from this reference or data me. Um, one and one eighth, and from this, the flat of this sleeve up to here, a half inch, and from this to the sleeve, the the the. This little width here is a quarter of an inch. Okay. This diameter in here is five eighths, and that diameter is an inch. And the reason why they go to this kind of precision is to make sure you have a fit between the mandrel and the indexing sleeve. Okay. Now use your judgment. Uh, uh, um, like I screwed up this portion of it, the 5 eighths on my last, uh, on, on what I did. But all I have to do is correct this diameter for it to fit onto it. But I'm going to be putting, uh, on this picture, I put 5 eighths because it should have been 5 eighths. I just, 
I overshot it by a bit. And, um, at the end here, this is uh, 3 8 And where the threads are going to be, it's uh, 7 8 I know it's half inch. Sorry, it's half inch. From there to there, it's half inch. Now, there's going to be a thread here at the end for a length of um, for a length of 3 16 there's going to be a thread and it's supposed to be a half inch half inch 40 treads per inch now the reason why they're putting so many threads on this design what, what I'm looking at here is because the nut is really uh, slim they should have made this longer okay but they didn't so they overcompensated by making smaller threads to make sure there's a few threads engaged. You know, it doesn't have to be 40 threads per inch if you made this section longer and you made it on your uh, mandrel, you made it longer. See, if I was to do this again, that's what I would do. I would make it longer and put a more common thread. I'm cutting a peculiar uh, um, means to actually cut these uh, indexing slots if you want to call them that there's a 12 all the way around um, they're up here at the end of my finger there over there that's where those end up um, I'm gonna have to actually cut these with a fly cutter okay and once my fly cutter exits the part I need clearance if not I'm gonna hit my uh, I'm gonna hit my chuck on the uh, indexing head so I've had to elongate I had to elongate the part to actually machine it. It's supposed to be a little over one and a half inches, right? So um, this is a crude drawing here. You can see the jo the jaws uh, the jaws of the chuck. I'm gonna recess a one inch slot or relief behind the uh, where the cutting is gonna happen, where the indexing is gonna happen. Right. So when the cutter leaves the part, it'll have room to swing out. So that way I'll be able to clear the part. I had to leave myself an extra two inches of material back here. I can machine the whole part over here, then actually bring it over to the to the mill and, and do these uh, indexing slots. Okay. Every 20 degrees. Oh, every 20 degrees, 30 degrees, you get you get a tooth. Table travel. See, I'd be feeding the table here. This is all on the table, going into the fly cutter. So I'm going to poke a, a number three center at the end of the workpiece. Right there. Then I'm going to flip it around, face the other side, do the same thing in case I have to chuck it between centers at a point or another before I'm done. So I got to do that now just to make sure.
reduce the diameter so I didn't have any tools uh, around stock at that three quarter so I gotta take off a whole lot of material. I got it off the down. That's the next cut I gotta make, which should give me this right here, and I gotta go down to one one five, one point five hundred, and it has to be precise because it's a surface that's gonna have a um, a ratchet on it. Okay. Well, things change as you go along, huh? I've uh, centered your lid on both ends so I can find my center again. Um, this diameter is two inches on the button, but the width is slightly more than 250. I can always. Uh, find my centers again and and bring it down to 250 right as it says 250 up there and this other diameter where my pinky is touching is exactly 1.5 so now where my pinky is touching I'm gonna go over to the mill and actually cut those um, cut the ratcheting system into it and first I'll have to grind down that little quarter inch uh, um, high speed steel tool bit to a 60 degree uh, point so I can get my 60 degrees on my ratcheting system And we are the 19th, not the 16th, and it is actually 8.30, 8 8.36 or 8.37 at night, and I'm calling it for tonight. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, and it snowed a little bit tonight. Uh, it's in Canada, Atlantic Canada.